Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the Arcadia coaster pattern. Um, I'm using Billow yarn from Knit Picks, which is a bulky cotton, and then I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. This is from Furls Crochet. Um, some other things you'll need for this pattern are scissors, a tapestry needle, um, if you want to add a little leather tie to the corner, um, I will show you where to get that at the end. So let's get started. All right, to start your coaster, you're going to make a magic circle. So to make a magic circle, I just loop my yarn like this, insert my crochet hook into the circle, grab that yarn on the other side and pull it through and then yarn over and pull it through. All right, from here you're going to single crochet and chain two. You're going to repeat this three more times for a total of four. So here is the second time. Third time, you might hear my daughter in the background, um, and fourth time. All right, at this point, just take um, this loose yarn, the end, and pull it to tighten your square. All right, so you'll see you have four corners. You have one, two, three, and then this is going to be your fourth corner. So you need to join into that first single crochet and it might be a little bit tight, but that's fine. All right. So now we are going to work the second round and you are going to start by working into that first corner, which is your chain two space. So you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all into that one space. And then on the side here, you're, go you're just going to chain one. In the second corner, you're going to do the same thing. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. On the side, you will chain one. In the third corner, do the same thing. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one. And then here's your fourth corner. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. All right, you are not going to join and you're just going to chain one and then single crochet in that first corner. So this is round three. Okay, so round three is a single crochet in the corner, chain two, single crochet. All right, now you have a longer side and you have this chain one here. So this is when the the moss stitch really starts. So you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in that chain one space. Oops. And chain one again. Now you're at another corner. So when you get to a corner, you single crochet, chain two, single crochet. chain one, single crochet, chain one, and now you're at another corner, so you will single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, now you're at another corner, so you will single crochet, chain two, single crochet, Chain one, single crochet, chain one, and now you're back at another corner. 
So from here, you are probably picking up what the sequence is. So when you're on the side, you work the moss stitch, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And then when you get to your corners, you will work the single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the corner. So I'm gonna keep going around until my coaster measures um, four by four inches like these. So it'll be about seven rounds and I will meet you at the end to show you how to make sure all your sides are even and how to finish. Okay, my coaster is now the size that I want it to be so I can just check and make sure that all the sides are equal by counting the rows. So um, for me, I have that beginning single crochet in the magic circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I just want to count and make sure that each side has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're even. All right, I'm at the very end of the last row. So I have a single crochet left. And then when I get to the corner, I'm just going to chain one and then a slip stitch into the corner. Cut my yarn. And pull it through. All right, so now I will weave in both ends and then show you how to attach the leather strap. Okay, so I always like to finish off my coasters with just something unique that sets them apart. And you could do this a number of ways. You could use like a leather logo tag. You could, um, instead of cutting your yarn in the corner, you could make like a chain loop and then um, fasten off. Um, I like to buy well, I've only had to buy one because it pretty much lasts forever. This is a spool of suede cord from Amazon. It's about $14, and I'll link it in the description. Um, but all I do is just cut two strips at the length that I want. I just kind of eyeballed it. All right, I'm just going to take these two strips, feed them through this corner. Tie them in a knot together. And then I kind of pull on each individual one to tighten up. The knot till it looks nice and then just trim it short and there you go all right so thank you for watching my tutorial I hope that um, it was easy to follow and you make some really cute coasters if you post any pictures on Instagram make sure to tag me at needles and love so I can see thanks guys